Welcome back to another Dash Just YouTube channel video. In this video, we are going to learn how we can update our Pocket Mind server. This is the video that so many of you asked me about how we can update it because the Pocket Mind is every day updating the uh, client to make the server better, better running, and so many problems fixed or some kind of thing like that. If you want to know how we can update it, then you should. Uh, follow my steps that I'm doing right now. So if you want to see more videos like this Make sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button and follow me in the social link is in links in the description Also guys make sure to join into our discord server our discord server. It's got nitro. So yeah, the server is gonna work better So now let's get into into video So basically all you guys need to do is just go to your server file So basically uh, I have my server folder in my edit. So basically all you need to do is just double click on start up bad your server and if you don't know how you can make a server just make sure to check the links in the description so then you guys you can go and uh, see the video that how you can make a server with uh, free server without anything you can use unlimited plugins without any problems so basically we have here uh, a yellow thing this is the important part every time you open the server let me just stop and show you again so if I stop the server again and for example tomorrow like for example today I opened the server server was running well and if I open the server again Today I saw something kind of thing like yellow thing in here. So basically, this is mean you should download the new version of your Pocket Mind server. So basically, basically this is the important part. So you guys always need to uh, update it and make the last version of the use the last version of the Pocket Mind. So basically, we have the details here. So all you guys need to do is there's a download here. You guys all you need to do is just copy it, paste the link, and just hit enter. It's gonna download it for you. As you can see. The pocket my server is downloading so basically after you download the file go to your downloads and let me just put this one in desktop so the, the next thing I should probably do is stop the server first then go back to your server folder and all you guys need to do is a very simple thing is and that is just only the name should be like exactly pocket mine uh, the, the thing like this I don't know what it's that called but whatever it should be pocket mine MP that PHR the name shouldn't be anything else I saw some of you guys have because because some of you think that do this download is not starting but if you just hit enter after you put the link the download gonna begin so don't click enter 100 times yeah I saw so many of you have this problem and the baddest that thing, bad thing about it when you see the, the file is downloading it will be like this let me show you one that's that's not good the server is not gonna work with that so make sure the name is exactly as same as the name in here exactly with everything that this one had so basically all you guys need to do is just copy this one here or cut it whatever go back to your server folder and paste it if you right click and paste it as you can see something gonna show up here you guys need to replace the file to replace it and as you can see now our server got updated very easy without any problems very simple so basically all you guys need to do is just double click on start.bad and as you can see no more warnings in the server which means I install the server very good and without any problem. This is a good thing about it is the easy update and yeah that's, that's really cool. If your server is not working or opening or you can't join into your server so basically first of all you guys need to know is you guys need to use your IPv4 for joining into your server. But other people, you sh they should use the IP, I mean like public IP for using the server. So basically this is the important part. I see so many of you have these mistakes. So you guys, you should, if you wanna, if you are the creator of the server and you are starting the server, you should use the IP before. But if you are a player from another Wi-Fi or another like city or whatever, whatever you are, you guys need to use the public IP. If you don't know how you can find your public IP address, uh, the link for that is what's my IP dot org. Now I'm gonna not gonna hit enter because if I click on it, the my IP before gonna show up or whatever. And after all, guys need to do is that's it. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and follow me on the socials. Also, join to our discourse if you have any questions. I will be there and I will answer all of your questions. 
and if you have any other problems just let me in a discord server or you can comment it down below so i will make a video for that so yeah thank you so much for watching if you really like the video make sure to subscribe <laughs> okay whatever uh see you in the next video goodbye Yeah.